hello everyone here i am going to show you how you will upload your latex file in a journal applied acoustics so before submission first you will have to log in uh, into the applied acoustics user, user using your user id or if you have a orchid then and and synced with your applied acoustics then you can log in this journal uh, submission uh, website using your orchid id as well so here i have already made my orchid id so i am just going to log in using my orchid here and then i will show you how you will upload your latex file in the applied acoustics right so here first i will click submit your paper now since uh, i'm going to demonstrate i have uh, already two papers in the communication so i'm just showing you one of the communicated paper as a fresh submission right and how you will submit it let's say first you will have to click on submit new manuscript and first you have to then you have to choose either your article type let's say if it is correspondence technical not research paper or whatever so i i am selecting this research paper then i will proceed with the research paper now in this tab i'll have to upload um, all my latex file so you have it uh, two option either you can submit each latex file like a text file then bibliography uh, file as well as the figures and table separately or what you can do you just uh, make it as a winrar zip file and then upload it so here i will show you how we, you will upload one zip file so i have a zip file uh, and i'm this one and uh, it contains all my figures as well as the text files right so just wait for a few minutes and then i will show you the content of this zip file right so this latex submission is almost similar to the word file submission only uh, difference is that here since in your if you have written paper in your microsoft word then it's a very you know easy and you will you know that how you will proceed with the submission things but when if you have tried like a text file uh, latex uh, draft then two three things you have to consider it so that thing i'm gonna show you first so please wait for some time and let the pro, uh, website process my zip file now and if you will see here in the meantime the okay so first i will show you now if you will see all my zip file has been uploaded into the um, platform so only thing i have to choose the item type here if you will see these are the figure so i will choose it as a figure right and this thing i will tell you later so first i am selecting everything so figure it as a figure item type let's say figure all the figure right so this paper contains you no know, i think more than 10 figures so that's why it will take some time to assign each five figure to the figure item types right so here if you will see now if you can see here so this one this file we don't need so i am just going to remove it right now so for text submission you should have at least three files one is the manuscript.txt and my bib file.bib and another thing is the your reference format right here i uh, if i can see yes so this is called your elastic article numerical dot pst so two three things you have to mm, take consider when you will submit your manuscript first thing is that if you will see the uh, file name manuscript so you should be aware about it that there should be no space between the letters right and similarly for my web files then only it will be compiled properly otherwise you will face problem right so here and now if you will see here these three things so we have only one file 
for manuscript but you'll have to assign this all three files as a manuscript file item right so i am just uh, assigning it or manuscript file you can see here all the three files now if you will see here so these journals requires to submit one conflict of interest right so here now i am going to submit conflict of interest so these are the mandatory files you have to um, upload while you will be submitting so here i'm just uh, uploading the conflicting of interest and another thing um, we must we upload that is the cover letter right so for the first time so here it will see here cover letter now more or less i have uploaded all the essential items in this uh, platform now i'm going to just uh, clicking on the proceed right here now in this section if you will see select the section or category related to the manuscript right so your wherever you belongs to let's say if you are in america then you will consider you'll have to select it otherwise let's say if you check below from the china then you have to select it so i'm just uh, selecting the first of the world right so you know it will go the classifications you have to select some keywords so that general will send uh, select the reviewer and as well as the editor for your um, reviewing process so i'm just randomly selecting the since six thing is required so i'm just uh, selecting all the six things to fulfill the criteria okay. and now if you will see now again the next step that is called proceed right now here you have to select free reviewer right so i'm just uh, writing something xyz and xyz something like that so here you have to provide the email id right whatever it is so i'm just doing the random things but yes you'll have to uh, put the three valid reviewers name as well as their email id right and i'm just putting the random some random numbers right so uh, now i have uh, included three reviewer name so i have suggested three reviewers and they are, and i provided the email id as well so if you have some um, name which you can think that okay they uh, you should oppose the, their name so you can add here right so i have no any um, so here now if you will see here you have to select the all funding resources be acknowledged then uh, these things are uh, you have to select and if you have something data in a brief then you have to select accordingly otherwise i don't have currently so i am selecting this one then last one again also now this is the proceed right so i will show you now i am not selecting anything so i will go to the final thing manuscript right so here if you will see here i am just putting the title because these are the required thing so i'll have to put these things So you'll have to provide the keywords for your manuscript so that it it will find the interest to the readers right so now again i have to provide let's say i have already provided one things now i will go directly to the funding funding information is not available right so if you have funding information you will fill accordingly so i'm just demonstrating you right so now build pdf for approval right so here again i have to check the email id right okay now build pdf for approval and in the meantime you have to select the publishing option whether you want to publish it as your open article or just a general uh, 
subscription based article so i'm just selecting subscription based article save and return right so here proceed and then you'll have to wait for one or two minutes now now the website is automatically processing your manuscript and trying to compile whole files in a single pdf file and that pdf file gonna send to the reviewers for the peer reviewing process so now say so already mm, now you can see here these things have been already compiled by the mm, website now you can you'll have to check first the submission right So I'm just going to download it and and check whether this is the referencing has been properly made or not. 